Well, coming through Andrews, it's just going to be uh, about a half mile through the open water. You're starting to get into a little bit more open waves, and you're just coming off the river. And that's not too bad to cross in, in with a little bit of wind, but going into uh, underneath the bridge there, Mission Road, uh, into Cass Lake, you're going to have to be very cognizant of the wind. As our route description uh, specifies, it's, it can get very treacherous going across. It's about eight miles across the uh, across Cass Lake to get to Canutes and Dam. Um, you know, you can, we recommend you stay along the shoreline and plan your route according to the weather. Uh, you know, watch the wind. The waves can come up in no time and sneak up on you. And uh, one thing I recommend is uh, if you feel a little, little uncomfortable crossing that big body of water, a lot of the local resorts will give you a shuttle across there or even throw your kayak or canoe on the back of one of their bigger boats and get your cross there. Uh, otherwise, just hold out, maybe wait a few hours or half a day till the weather clears and uh, get across that lake safely. As soon as uh, uh, the sun comes up and you can see, uh, that's uh, highly suggested to go across there. Uh, in the evening, also in the afternoon, a lot of times the wind starts to die down. But midday, you're just, it's a crapshoot. Uh, you know, if a storm comes through or something, you just never know it can sneak up on you. And it's a long way. If you uh, take a chance and, you know, cut cross country straight across the lake uh, as the crow flies, you know, you're, uh, you're taking a little bit of a risk, uh, depending on your experience and what size of a craft you have.